Hi guys and welcome to month 18 of my pixie growth. Now first off I have to apologise. Um, everything has been kind of hectic in the last month, six weeks, that kind of um, time scale. Um, as you may see I have different backgrounds than I usually do. That is because I have moved house very recently which is why it's still a little bit of a mess so you're gonna have to excuse me for that. The next thing I'm gonna ask you to excuse me for is because I did not film a month 17 update. So usually the way that these videos work is I introduce the video um, which was filmed in month 17 um, and then I show you my growth from month 16 to month 17 and then at month 18 I will film a little extra bit to go on the end of that video which will compare month 17 to 18. So I'm pretty much missing that bit in between which sucks and I really wish I did it but I just completely forgot, I was so busy. Um, so you're going to see a comparison from month 16 to month 18. Um, so bear in mind it should be two months of growth. Now I also got a haircut in that time I was getting so sick of my hair being heavy I said in my last video um, in the 16 month growth update that my hair just felt really like what like wah, 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 you know dull boring it was heavy and I was just unsure what to do with it well I'd got fed up I went to the hairdressers um, a brand new hairdresser I've never been to. I went to Tony and Guy in Nuneaton. I got seen by a lovely stylist called Chris, who I pretty much was just like, I don't know what I want to do with my hair. I'm trying to grow it out. So take the tiniest bit of length off it as you can. Um, but I need help. <laughs> um, and he was like, right, well, he gave me a side fringe, which um, was annoying me but it's kind of growing on me and it's growing out a bit so I like it a bit more. Um, he put layers in which I know I was growing out for the longest time but it made my hair look so cool and I posted it on Instagram and loads of you liked it and ugh. So I'm pretty much back to a size parting which I don't mind because I'm I've had it for so many years. Um, I do still like the middle parting but um, I'll just have to go with this for now. I think that's everything. Oh, and I dyed my hair yesterday. So it's it's nice and dark and hopefully um, there's no regrowth that I missed or, you know, because I will just be distraught. So if the camera makes it look like there's regrowth, just ignore it. And let's continue. <laughs> so getting right onto it, this is the front. Now remember in month 16, I would have had a middle parting. So of course it's gonna look quite different. Um, and where are these two? These are actually maybe a centimetre under my collarbone and I really don't remember where they were two months ago. And then if we turn to the side, hopefully you're going to see this. Um, here we go. I actually haven't looked at this at a side profile so as soon as I edit I will be able to see the difference but hopefully there's a nice difference and hopefully I've straightened it well. <laughs> And then moving on to the back, again, I have no idea what this looks like um, and I'll try and get it all in, so please bear with me, we bring it all back. And there you should see the comparison from 16 months to 2 months later and with a haircut in the middle. And now to the final side or the other side. I can't remember which side was the better side, I'm not entirely sure, but here you go. So there you have it, I am super excited to see the difference because as always I don't get to see it until I edit, um, so I'm really hoping it's grown quite a bit. Um, I don't really have any plans for my hair currently, um, I did ask you guys on my Facebook page where to get microlink extensions because um, I am kind of tempted to get them again but at the same time I'm like oh no don't do it don't wreck your hair 
um, and then I'm like well I don't know if it would wreck my hair because when I had them last time my hair was so damaged anyway and now I have new hair that's not really damaged and is awesome and shiny and wonderful um, and then I keep thinking, well, I don't know if I can be bothered to do my hair with extensions. And then I'm like, well, I actually don't know if I like long hair yet. Um, so obviously you can see, I really don't know what I'm doing with this. I am still very much unsure as to whether I do like long hair on me. Um, I don't actually know yet whether it annoys me. I have a feeling I'll be one of these people that grows their hair really, really long and then thinks, fuck it, let's cut it all off and then I'll start again. Um, maybe I have no plans to do that yet because I want to see what it looks like. Long and luscious. So that is all from me today, I hope you enjoyed, I'm so sorry that I didn't do an update at month 17, um, I was going to say that this is probably a really short video but I'm, I'm pretty sure I rambled quite a bit so it's probably not as short as I think it'll be, um, that'll be fun in editing but um, yeah I hope you all enjoyed, um, don't forget links to my Facebook, Instagram and Tumblr are down below so if you want to come over and follow me that would be awesome, apart from that I want to know where you are at your pixie growth stage age please let me know and please share your stories and if you have any tips on how to grow it out any products you love let us know in the comments let's share the love of pixie growth um, but yeah i'll see you all in the next video bye guys